Now, you've uh, probably been wondering how I'm going to make him a cranberry bear. Well, you know what he was doing. He was eating cranberries. how you doing? Please do answer below and tell me how your day's going. I would love that. And if you have a suggestion for a painting, a sketch, or a sculpture, please put it in the comments too. Uh, so today we're going to paint Cranberry Bear. You'll see how it comes out. We are going to do it as soon as I put my apron on. Okay, we're painting this bear. And I hope you can see that we're starting to get those line, those fur that I put in there starting to show up a little more I'm using a lighter color now and then I'm going to use this darker color over that just for kind of a dry brush I'm not going to have it completely cover him Okay. Now, why are we calling this guy Cranberry Bear? Does anybody remember? It's because he's eating cranberries in the painting. Uh, we did a painting and he was eating cranberries from bushes I don't have to paint the bottoms I probably would get by without doing it especially since when I set him down I've got to set him on his feet but I don't know it bothers me if they're not painted. Because that's when I may possibly miss something that would be seen. Yes, I paint myself too. <laughs> now he's a little thin. He's just come out of hibernation. And those bushes of cranberries were right there. And he started eating those to get some energy. And then he's going to go get some fatty, fatty carnivorous diet. <laughs> Probably some fish. Maybe some small animals. Oh, he's perfectly capable of taking down big animals, too. Deer. Deer and stuff. Bears, from what I've understood, from what I've learned, I think I've learned, are very territorial. They mark their territory. And they mark it with more than just marking it with urine. They mark it. They also they mark it with um, clawing trees. Uh, 
And since they've got such long and big claws and big paws, I think the thing about the big claws, and they're very padded, and I haven't studied this, I'm not absolutely sure, I think it helps them be very quiet. Very... So when they... Because they are kind of like a big long green animal. Okay, we need to wait for this guy to dry. So, I'm going to quickly show you if I can find it. <laughs> it's here! There he is in the painting and he's eating those cranberries off those bushes. Can you see him better? I hope. <laughs> yeah, there's looking at you. Growl. Okay, I think I will give it one more coat of the lighter brown and then I'll kind of give a dry coat of uh, the dark brown. Now that doesn't mean <laughs> doesn't mean it's really dry. It just means you put you um, take most of the paint off of the brush before you. So it just leaves kind of a thin coat, and you can still see the other color through it. It just kind of gives it depth. I think this is the whole idea. Okay, here we go. Now I might touch up a couple of spots, but I'm not going to need to touch him again after I touch this up. It's really not that bad. Okay, I thought so, I thought I saw more, but he's really not bad at all. Okay. Now after I do this coat, I will not be needing. To dry it. I'm just going to let this dry on its own. Oops. That really squeezed it out. Let's get a different brush. <coughs> yeah, you're recording. Add a double check. Maybe I'm taking too much off. <coughs> that or... Gave you more net than I would have, but I I just already had made it. I had already made it. There we go. Now I think that kind of gave him a little. Okay. Now for the details. I'm going to need some black for his eyes.
was trying to be so careful I didn't even get any on the brush. <laughs> now I have it. Well, it's either the bare or it's me one or the other all the time. Okay, Mr. Bear, you've got some nice black eyes. Let's give you one nice big black nose. <laughs> Yogi, you're not, but you do look nice. Okay. There he's got some nice black eyes and a nice black nose. And now for the very, well, I'm not done. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Uh, those claws need to be a little different. I don't really want to make them black. So I'm going to make them gray. We're going to make your claws nice and gray. Twelve claws. Twelve gray claws. Kind of got in between them on that one. I need some height. It's okay. We'll have to paint another day. And we couldn't fix this. <laughs> okay. Now, you've uh, probably been wondering how I'm going to make him a cranberry bear. Well, you know what he was doing. He was eating cranberries. Oh, I've got the red right here. <laughs> I've got the red right here. down a little bit. But I don't know whether to tone it down with white or not. Because that can go too far and then I just end up with a pink. But I think what I'll do is I'll put it here. And then I'll just meld them together or mix them together until I get what I want. <laughs> this is how we make him a cranberry bear. And it doesn't matter if it's kind of drooling and dip, dripping out of his mouth. Because, I mean, y'all go for a swim to catch some fish later. I'll clean him up. <laughs> but he doesn't have great table manners anyway. And there is our cranberry bear. Looks like he's been having a lot of fun eating those cranberries. There he is. Little bear. Uh -uh. Still wet. Oh, not very. The bear. You know why he's got the pink lips? Why? Because he was eating cranberries. Oh. Eating cranberries in the paint. Got big feet too. Well, they do. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it's cute. Thank you. Say goodbye. See ya. Bye. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire.